this great, a great night. I can tell you that there's never been a crowd assembled that is as diverse as this crowd is for a Democratic uh, a primary winner ready to go on to the general election. Thirty-nine cities and towns, everyone's important, and every community that makes up those communities is important. So I am so honored to stand here before you tonight, not just as your governor, but as the Democratic nomination, nominee for governor of Rhode Island. It's not the cards you get dealt, it's how you play the hand. So we were dealt the biggest pandemic and the, and the biggest state of emergency in the history of the state of Rhode Island, and we, and we delivered the fastest recovering economy in the country. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. And we eliminated the car tax. <laughs> and, and we got $250 million in for housing. And we, and, and, and we passed good, safe gun laws to help keep people safe in the state of Rhode Island. All right, you ready? Not bad for 18 months. <laughs> so, what's that? No, that's not going to happen. Eva. That's not going to happen. Eva, get, hang up on them. Hang up on them. So I stand here with my family and my friends. My wife, Susan. Who, who pitched in when I had COVID. With my daughter, Kara. Tune into The Voice this week or next week for Kara. And then during that week, Senator Lombardi, Rep. Lima told me to just stay home. Stay home. Because Susan and Kara had it covered. Right, Senator? Yes. And then my son, Matt. And his wife, Laura. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Matt actually... Uh, Help write and direct the uh, the mother ad, by the way. Yeah. But I'm so proud to be here. Because Rhode Island is positioned in a way where we've never had this momentum before. And we're going to take full advantage of it. And we're going to raise per capita income, per capita income in the state of Rhode Island for every community and all the communities that make up our 39 cities and towns. So I also want to thank all our volunteers who met weekly, daily. And I'm not going to list all the communities that make up the communities, but you're all here tonight. And you know what I'm talking about. You know that there's going to be an opportunity for everyone. We are going to lower the, uh, we're going to lower those uh, hurdles where there are hurdles. And we're going to make sure that all our families, all our kids get over the finish line. And that's, 
And that's the opportunity that we have. And we're going to take full advantage of it. I do want to take a minute to recognize my fellow candidates in the race. Dr. Munoz, Matt Brown, Secretary Gorbea, Helena Folks. I can tell you it is not easy being in this arena at this moment in time. So I do thank them for their participation and we're looking to get make sure that we connect the Democratic Party in the yeah. state of Rhode Island to be ready for the upcoming election because we're going to win in November yeah. with everybody in this room and then we're going to add to the momentum. We're going to add to that momentum and then Rhode Island, Rhode Island is finally going to meet that goal. We are no longer be the state that's first in and last out of the economic downturns. And we can do it right now because we have the lowest unemployment rate in the history of the state of Rhode Island and there's still good paying jobs left. And who's going to get those jobs? Everybody in the state of Rhode Island, but I want to I want to give a shout out. I want to give a shout out to labor. To the labor unions, the individuals that were out there plugging every single day. And guess what? Who's going to get those jobs, the good paying jobs? They're going to get them. The Rhode Islanders are going to get them. And they're going to be prevailing wage jobs. And guess where they're going to spend their money? Guess where they're going to buy their local their pizza? They're going to go to the local small businesses. And I want to thank the small businesses in this state because we're no longer going to be the bottom of the barrel in terms of small business friendliness. I am moving that forward with the help of our General Assembly. And I want to congratulate uh, Speaker Sicacci uh, right, and President Dominic Ruggiero because they have been great partners for us. And we're set with the budget we passed to have three to five years of economic opportunity for the people who live in the state of Rhode Island. In eight years. In eight years. Oh, my God. Don't say that. Uh, don't say that. <laughs> well, as long as your dad's around, you never know what could happen. So finally, finally, a big thank you to my campaign team as well. Brexton and Sydney and the help that we get on the national level that's going to bring us right to the right to working with the with the president and making sure that we're leading the country on offshore wind and the environment that's going to happen. Hi Chris, with your help Chris that'll happen. Those opportunities are there so I want to thank the the staff that worked so hard uh, and learned a little bit over Rhode Island. They learned about what coffee milk is. <laughs> <laughs> and so the people are here tonight, I, you know, thank you so much. The opportunity is just in front of us. And the general election starts now, right now. Thank you all for staying with us. Thank you for everybody that's out there working hard to create a new Rhode Island for the, for the people that live in this state. Economic opportunity is just on the horizon, and we're going to make sure that everybody participates in that. So I want to congratulate Sabina Matos for winning tonight. Yeah. James Diosa for winning tonight. along with our full slate of Democrat and endorsed Democrats. So congratulations to each and every one. Let's get ready. Round two. I didn't, I didn't bring the boxing gloves, but we're putting them on. And then also, all our municipal leaders, all my, all my fellow mayors that are here, that are working on this, in all the communities around the state of Rhode Island. Charlie, we're going to deliver for you. We are going to deliver for the people that you serve. It is going to happen. And, um, and we're going to do it. And we're going to uh, make sure, I can tell you this right now. There is no one who's going to outwork us. There is nobody can work outwork us. 
a McKee campaign goes from my family to everybody in this room and beyond this room. The world is going to change tonight for Rhode Island. It did for us. And now we're going to take full advantage of it. Thank you so much.